What's going on guys? Welcome back to Garage Builds. As y'all can see, it's cold as shit. Look at this. Did you hear? Y'all know what's going down. Look at all this snow out here, man. Super snowy. This ain't regular in Texas. Hope everybody's doing good. Y'all staying safe out there. Try not to drive too much. But if you have to, you have to. But hope y'all staying warm and y'all be safe out there. Everything nice. You can barely even see the lines in this bitch. Bro, there's no lines in this. Oh, you can see the lines where cars been driving though. Today I received a couple of packages that we got. I'm gonna open them up. Let me get back to you guys once I open all this up so we can see what we got. Couple of little goodies. Nothing major, but let's see what we got. All right, now that we opened everything up, this is pretty much what we got. This is what I got for the SI. So for the SI, for the FA5, I got these lights that I'm gonna install so I can show you guys. Maybe y'all like them. They pretty much go on your feet or under your dash, below your car. And uh, for the EK hatch, W20 Vite, we got this cooling cap to the danger. We also got the oil cap, Mugen. And also for the EK, we ordered a new coupler and we got a new new colder intake for it because I'll show you guys the one it has, pretty beat up. And for the FA5, also ordered this clutch. Let me know what you guys think about this clutch. I've never ordered Exeti. Supposedly it's like a OE replacement. Let me know what you guys think about this, if it's a good brand. So this one we're gonna we're gonna be installing on the SI. Got a little OE replacement. Perfect everything you need. Should come with a throw there. Oh yeah, there's a the throw there. So. Let me know if you guys want to watch me struggle with this or should I just pay someone to install it? Still thinking about it. Watch if I want to like take my time and do it by myself. But we'll see what happens. Let me know what y'all think about this. Start installing these. It's pretty much what comes in the box. The little remote. And everything in one piece. Pretty simple. Okay, so first thing when you're gonna wanna do is so find your 12 volt power source. That's where you're gonna start up. From right there, you're gonna guide your cables. Stretch these out. You're gonna be able to tell that. Two are gonna be longer than the other two, so the two long ones go for the back and the two shortest ones are for the front. My bad if you guys see me shivering. Y'all know it's pretty cold out here. Okay, so once you stretch them out, so you're gonna be able to tell that these two are together and the other two are longer, so. This right here is pretty much your signal, so. Wherever this is at, that's where you're going to have to press the remote so it gets the signal. So if this is not visible to the remote, it's not going to work. Then right here, you just plug it up. Everything is plug and play, so you need no tools, okay? You just plug this up right here. Alright, so I'm going to get to installation. I'm going to show you guys. Alright, now that you guys are down here, the two short ones, you're going to try to run going through the back right here try to find any way in until you get it to go through once it goes through you go to the other side you're gonna get it on this side and just pull it then uh, you can just install these and you can just tuck your cables later so pretty much what you're gonna do Gonna look for a flat spot, pretty much. Probably, probably gonna put it right here on this spot right here. Or right here, yeah. Wherever you find where it can stick the most, that's where you can put it at. So let me show you guys. Before. So for me, it works better right here. You have a double sided tape right here. 
No need for super glue or none of that extra. You just literally use the double sided tape. That's all it's gonna need. I feel like that would be perfect right there. So if you guys can see, I'm putting it a little bit, a little bit high because uh, on the bottom, it's only gonna be able to stick like half of it and I don't want it falling off. So I prefer to have a little bit to the edge, but I'll make sure it stays on there. All right. Once your LED strip is in there, you just put the cable back there, back there somewhere. And as you can tell, you can, right off the bat, you can't even tell. Yeah, no cable, so. All right, Next. now we're doing the driver's side. So remember, just try to find, they don't have to be completely straight. Once the light is on, you're not even gonna be able to tell. As long as you get a lot of it to stick, just so you make sure they stay on. There we go, that'll be perfect. front I'm gonna tuck these cables in through here and we're gonna take it out to the back so remember guys that whenever you're tucking your cables this needs to be outside because it's your signal so you're gonna need it to be outside but the rest of the cables you can tuck them in at the bottom of the plastic And if you have zip ties, it's even better. Try to zip your zip tie your cables up there so you're not stepping on them or get stuck whenever you're driving. Yeah, so pretty much what I like to do, I just uh, tuck those in there. And pretty much this little box, you can leave it like back here. And then the rest will go to the back. I'll show you guys. All right, once you guys, don't mind the mess. Once you guys get back here to the back, you're gonna notice that there's nothing to put it on down here because everything is pretty much cloth. But uh, the part from the seat, you can put it right here. It fits pretty perfect. You won't even be able to tell. It's all right, see, you can put it right there. And I'll show you guys at nighttime how it's gonna look. So let me put that on, show you guys. I'm gonna do a time lapse, so I can just do both sides at the same time. Pretty much what I did was put the LEDs right there. And uh, if you take your time, you can actually tuck this all the way inside the seat. But I just did it quick, so you can tuck it. If you can see, you don't see none of the Mundo's cables. I'm about to get a sound system. I want to have a little tent in here so we can jam. I was getting those cables ran, but so pretty much you can't really tell. See, all you see is that one little line, but you won't even be able to tell. We'll show you guys how it looks. All right, it's time to see how it looks. Let's give the remote some power. There we go. All right, I'm gonna get the keys. Oh yeah, so this is pretty much what it looks like. So you guys can see, that's red. This side looks in the back, so you guys can see. It's not, it's not bad for 10 bucks. I mean, if you're not a big fan of LEDs, then it's all right, but. All right, let me show you the different colors. You got blue, white, you got orange. Yeah, this thing has to it has to be within the radius of it, or else it's not gonna work if it's covered up. Oh, yeah, you can put party mode. 
It has different settings. It's pretty nice for what it costs, though, to be honest. If y'all into this, y'all can let me know. I'll pass you the link. You can also put up and lower the brightness. If it's too bright for you at nighttime, you lower the brightness, or you can put the brightness up. And once it flashes, it's pretty much maxed out. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. And hopefully y'all like this and maybe y'all install this in y'all's cars. See you guys next time.